Uh, my name is Stephen Wright. I'm Professor of Economics in the Department of Economics, Maths and Statistics. We teach uh, here a, a wide range of programs, all the way up from courses which are completely open access, uh, anybody can apply to them, introductory courses, all the way up to PhD programs that are obviously very technical in, in content. The teaching experience of being taught at Birkbeck is a, is a very different experience. Uh, we have a lot of interaction uh, between students and, and, and the people teaching them and between the students and each other. Uh, and that makes it a, a very, very different place from a lot of other universities. Why do we think that short selling is more dangerous than buying? Because they need to be they and then I would say because it's if you want to lost. sell, maybe nobody would want to buy for unlimited. that price. The loss is unlimited. You can limit any kind of money, all your money and beyond. That's the point, you see. If you buy up uh, whatever share, which is 100 at the moment, if you buy it, the worst that can happen to you is that it goes to zero. Right? What's your return? Minus 100%. If you sell it, if you sell it and you get it wrong, and then you can go to whatever, right? Your return's horrendous. Yes, it's bottomless, unlimited. And I guess reflecting the student mix, we also have uh, a, a bunch of academics who are very much research active, but also focused on sort of practical implications of, of the subjects that we're studying. Uh, so we have a lot of people who, um, uh, uh, you know, have experience in policy areas and applied problems in, in both economics and maths uh, and, and statistics across the board. Starting with undergraduate programs, we have a wide range of undergraduate programs across all our subjects, economics, maths and stats. Now quite a few of these programs are three-year programs, uh, which means we, you apply through UCAS just like any other UK university. But of course, you should know by now, I guess, that Birkbeck is not like any other UK university, because if you come here as an undergraduate, you're uh, working in the day and coming to lectures at night, so it's a, it's a very different experience. If you're working full-time in the day, almost all of our BSc programmes are also available on a part-time basis over four years or more which makes the workload much more manageable. For these part-time programmes, you apply directly to Birkbeck. We also have a particular and long-standing speciality in courses that teach undergraduate material to graduates, so that people who come from another discipline can convert uh, into uh, one of our subjects. One of our most popular programmes of this type is the Graduate Diploma in Economics. And the key point about these is that we know that you're a graduate, you've got the ability to plan your time, you're often, most of your people are working in the day, which means we can give you a much more focused approach in teaching this material and therefore we can teach it in an accelerated way so that you can actually cover all the core material in an undergraduate program in um, as little as one year, one or two years, depending on how intensely you do the, the course. But by the time you finish, you're competing on an equal footing with people coming out of undergraduate programs. And a key point about these programs, which I would stress, is that really uniquely in the UK system, these programs are designed for graduates. You're not going to be taught alongside uh, undergraduates and just piggybacking off their system. These are specifically designed for you as graduates. Moving up a level, we also have a wide range of master's courses. We have uh, the MSc in Applied Statistics, which is the largest MSc of its kind in the UK. We have um, our MSc Economics program, which has taught generations of, of economists who go on to work in the Bank of England, uh, the Treasury, consulting, but also in academia. We also have a wide range of programs in finance. If you don't have any background in this area, then our MSc in Finance is open to graduates from any discipline and we provide you with the mathematical and analytical tools that you need to get to grips with the subject. But we also have a number of MSc programmes in quantitative finance that require you to have a very strong mathematical and statistical background before you start.
And we also benefit from our interdisciplinary uh, aspect because we have mathematicians and statisticians teaching alongside um, uh, uh, specialist financial economists. So it plays to our strengths there. And if you're a mathematical purist, we, we have an MSc in, in straight mathematics. And then at the very top of the academic tree, as it were, we have a PhD program. And here again, there's a very distinct Birkbeck flavour because we do have full-time PhD students uh, who are here day in, day out, uh, sometimes every night as well. And there's a very hard-working bunch of people, very strong sense of community, strongly involved in the department. But at the same time, we also have part-time PhD students who are doing a job and working on a PhD in parallel. And there we can be very, very flexible in the way that we deliver uh, our, our supervision. For example, I have a PhD student uh, who's a part-time student who's actually based in Malta, who I only see a few times uh, in the year, but we communicate by Skype, uh, by email, and, and she works at her own pace. And that, again, it's a very specifically Birkbeck way of doing things. Now everything I've just described is, is really aimed at students who know what subject they want to do and who can really devote a significant amount of time and effort to it. And, and, and you need to be aware if you come to Birkbeck and you take on one of these programs that the time commitment is really serious. You're coming to lectures twice a week at least, sometimes more, sometimes a bit less. You're doing coursework, you're doing reading. So it, it, it takes up a lot of your time. It's a big commitment, but what students find is it's an immensely rewarding experience if, if they can cope with that commitment. But, but not everybody can cope with that degree of time commitment. Also, there may be people who simply don't know what the subject they want to study. And for, if, if you're one of those people, then Birkbeck also has courses that we can offer. Uh, we have short courses that are open access, uh, relatively small groups, not so intense, just once a week. Um, and, and quite informally taught and we have some, some really excellent teachers. If you want to check out the um, uh, video uh, by Peter Barnes, one of our uh, teachers on economics, that he, he'll give you a nice demonstration of why economic, how economics can explain uh, why Die Diego Maradona was such a great footballer, for example, which sort of takes you well outside the range of what you, can, what you think of economics as being. So what I've described is, is a very wide range of programs across a range of disciplines and a range of levels, but there are actually some, some common factors there. One of them is, is the nature of our students, that they're a very demanding group of students because they're working in the day, they're coming here in the evening. If something goes wrong, they tell us very quickly. That makes us a very responsive department in the way that we deal with our students. It also makes them very interactive students. So we're teaching them, but in the process, we actually can learn a lot from them as well. And they can learn from each other, and they can talk to each other about the jobs that they're doing. And, and there's an, an awful lot of networking going on amongst our students uh, in, in between lectures. And we're also continually trying to find ways of, of improving the way that we provide this service to students. For example, the last couple of years, we've been introducing videos of all the lectures uh, in, in some programs which means students can go back and listen again to the parts of the lecture that they didn't necessarily follow at the time. Um, and it's a new resource that they can work from. It's a new kind of teaching resource. And we're continually trying to think of ways that we can use new technology to, to improve the way that we provide these, these courses. So if you want to know more, check out all the links you see on the website that we've been pointing to. Um, uh, other videos uh, which focus on particular programs are also available. And of course, if you want to see us in person, you can come to one of our open evenings and meet one of the program directors.